Well, hello there. Uh, my name is Anna. I'm one half of the team here at Happy Karma Homes. Uh, my husband, Derek, is in the other room. He does all of the heavy lifting, um, big time labor stuff and runs all the finances because my design expenses can get a little out of control. Um, so like I said, I'm Anna and we've also got Barney and Duke running around here, our two dogs. We did not bring the baby today. Maybe Jack is at home. Um, but we're very excited because we just bought this house in our favorite neighborhood in Austin. It's uh, Western Trails. It's a 1950s um, pocket neighborhood just south of 290 and 71 um, between Mopac and Manshack. So for those foodies out there, you'll notice that we are in the backyard of um, Central Market. So you could walk there, you could bike there, um, you can be pushed there in a stroller if you're, if you're a baby like Jack. Um, so that's a really fun thing, I think, because I used to live in New York for a very long time. The fact that it's got some walking distance to things is a really exciting um, thing. And just the few nights that we've been here, I can't tell you the people that we've seen walking by the house every night. It's just really fun. It's a very um, like small town neighborhood kind of feel. Uh, so that's a little bit about the neighborhood, but a little bit more about the house. And I think this is pretty interesting. Um, we have not gutted it. So we bought a house that the couple before us um, were in the middle of a lot of projects and did not um, finish them. And so we are the proud owners that now get to finish them. And what's even more exciting is all along I've been thinking like, how do I design for a homeowner that I don't know? And then my brilliant realtor friend said, have you thought about selling this before um, you finish it? And I thought, okay, do people do that? To which she said, no, uh, why don't you do it? So we're creating this out of nothing. This is not something that I've ever seen done, at least not in Austin or, or Houston, which are the markets that I know the best. Um, and so we are going to offer a rare opportunity to have a buyer come in and buy the house the way that it is, we will be finishing it out and we will work with you. So if you know that you love what I'm doing and you love all the tile selections, but you really do want that outdoor shower that I've been lobbying for hard from my financial um, partner, uh, we can put that in for you. So you can make a lot of fun, customized things, or you know that you hate the title that I'm choosing, then we can go ahead and choose something else. So I really see the vision for this home to be uh, Mediterranean meets mid-century modern. So let's go over to this inspiration board that I made on Canva, shameless, shameless plug for Canva. Our friend works there and we absolutely love it. Um, you just saw me in the entryway. We're gonna open it up. Derek wanted to be quick to point out it won't be double doors, but Again, if we're working with the owner, who knows, maybe it will be. Um, and then open it all up where, where you just saw me. This is actually the, the front door and the dining room. And then behind me is where the kitchen will be. The design inspiration for the kitchen, like I said, or for the home is a Mediterranean meets mid-century modern. So I wanna take you back to the board. We are going to do a cobalt blue chef's kitchen. I am a cook, so when I say chef's kitchen, I am very serious about that. Double ovens, stuff in places where it makes sense. I was just talking to our new babysitter about the design of our kitchen, and I'm like, if you, if you would use it there, that's where you will find it. Uh, I want kitchens to make sense because I think people will cook more if it's easy. Um, so we'll have a bar here, um, some amazing um, pantry, but um, we're not gonna have a walk-in pantry. I don't think it's necessary. There's so much space. And in, in this new day and age of a pandemic and COVID and everybody at home, you need to know this. Right now, you've got a three bedroom, two bath on the left side of the home. The square footage of the house is about 2000 square feet. On the right side of the home, we've got a lot of dead space and a four car garage. A previous owner was a major car guy. So that worked for him. It does not work for me. So we're gonna change that into a one-one. So you're gonna have an owner's retreat is, for, is what we're calling it. So if you have been craving privacy from the rest of your family, you can really have that here. Now there are some buzzwords I wanna leave you with, with the, with the owner's retreat on the right side of the home. That's a word like um, Japanese soaking tub, walk-in closet, 
um, outdoor shower if you want to put if you want to work with us to put one in, um, and then floor to ceiling windows and mature vegetation. What's really exciting about adding this this owner's retreat is it's going to take the house from 2,000 square feet to 2,451 square feet. So I'm going to have uh, my amazing videographer shoot this beautiful turquoise pool um, out through the windows. That's all going to be accessible. Everything will be brand new and sparkly. Um, I was on a Greek island when I first heard about this home, and I'm part Greek. So obviously the Mediterranean influence and then my favorite um, style is mid-century modern. So we're gonna be marrying those two together. The tile work on the pool is gorgeous. It's that stunning turquoise color. It's not, you know, like so many pools nowadays that are a darker color. Um, so we're gonna bring that um, outdoor space in. And I can't wait to see you next week. You can go to happykarmahomes.com to find out more about it. Bye.